we got this what 12 Dodge Ram that was made in 13 right 12 12 December of 12 <laughs> okay December of 12 which is a very very and amazing. they made this mess look at that that one's also on but that is them right <laughs> that is <there>. them <laughs> and there's connector ends on the floor and I wonder if it's for that why does it look corroded in there? Someone's been jabbing pins at it. Yeah, it just looks awfully cor corroded, like white. It don't look super new, does it? Yeah, it's got pin marks all over it. It was just funny because they would have had the wires twisted together or soldered before the heat truck hit. <laughs> okay, so you want to look at data pins. Yeah, it's missing the end. That's that white end that's on the ground. I saw it sitting there, that's what I was saying. Like <laughs> with our new connector. I just had that on an injector and I think it was causing it or not an injector a coil and I think it was causing it not to work. The plastic was stuck in the plug. Alright, clearly codes, we're good. Are we? No. I, don't, I don't think we're good. <laughs> so you want throttle? Yeah, let's see uh if APP one or APP two work at all. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay, we got it. We got throttle. That's oh APP. We need APP. APP one's at zero. That's broken. Hey, hold on. So APP two moves up? No. No, we have no movement. Oops. We had a movement there. Justin, you did something and it made it go down to zero. Or, oh no, wait, it might be, oh no, something's doing it, look. I don't think that's a check. Or they're both at zero now. Yeah, whatever you're doing there. I Oh, something there. That's impressive. What? I don't know, it's spiking it out. Did you see it? Uh, Look. What, I just say PP2? Is it really? Well. So you just unplugged it. Okay. I just want to make sure we had something. See, look, something's spiking it again. We might have to get a scope on this one. I want we'll to check their wiring. Yeah. We need, first off, we need to make sure they're right. But that, look how high that. That's going up to five volts. Our whole scale changes when it does that. Oh, there it is. Or what is that? I don't know what that's... I don't know how to use this too well. Oh, is this just making a full screen? Something's like messing that up. I stand some sort of interference in the huh? I'm assuming. I'm trying to press the gas, but nothing happened. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Time to do some <laughs> Oh, you saw that, didn't you? They hit a pothole, and the whole bed just shifted. Look at this, guys. This is what our world's come to. You guys are doing work? You're recording the mirror, though. No, I, I think it was showing up. No, it was on screen. Well, okay, so let's we have wire guy though. Bank should be pin six. Um, pin one should be pink and yellow. They got them all tangled up. We're gonna go through these. Probably just noise from the car. We could probably put on like filtering. Probably go away. 
probably just from the ignition. So, so we have five volts on both of ours, so now we need our signal. So what is that? Uh, that was one in six? Yeah. So we need uh, two and five, yes. Two and five. Oh, uh, we should have the pedal connected up when we're doing this. Yeah, we have nothing on them now, so when you plug it in, we should have something. Then we have nothing. This is our signal? Yeah. Yeah, we got nothing. Move your pedal. Nothing. Is that, is that what it shows on scan data, too? Scan data is showing three volts on APP2. Um, go back to our signals. Can you, our signals. I mean, not the signals, the feeds. Make sure we still have five volts because we didn't check them with the circuit complete. Okay, that one came up. We could be missing a ground. It could just it could be uh, substituted data too. Yeah, then we got five volts. So, what's uh, the other one? Ground? Yeah, the other ones are ground. Um, what are they? They're... So, three and four are ground? Yeah, three and four. Return, yep. Is that three? It's uh, four, I think. What? I meant, like, let's see. Ah! Move it. Yeah, so we don't have a ground on the one. Hmm. All the way? Yeah. So that one goes up to 4.5, but if you let it out part way, does it? It goes to down. But that's weird, because we, we had it on this other one before. Well, we're on, not on the signal return. We said we had a bad ground. We don't know if we have a good Yeah, well, we jumped the ground right there in your hand. But why is APP2 now? It's zero. Uh, so now it's showing a little bit. Because now our APP is working. Like, it's actually moving when um, you do that. Go to see that? Watch. Move it. Move it slowly and you'll see. Look, see? It's working now. Yeah. APP2 is now at 0 0.0049. Now APP what we could do is we could jump the signal wire 5 volts from APP1 to the 5 volt reference and then it'll show us that it's intact and then it's a bad pedal and a bad ground. Where are we getting the bad ground though? That's what we got to figure out. Yeah. Um, APP signal. Right there. Let's see if you pull. Did you try pulling it out? I haven't tried pulling it out yet. I was gonna pull okay, it. Okay, They said something like I caught in a drive shaft. We got these wires here. Some are bare. So, right now, with the jumper off, our APP2 has voltage. When he jumpers it, our APP2 goes to zero and the other one comes up. Well, it's, the other one starts working then. Could our diagram be wrong? I doubt it. You mean as far as like some... So, do you need the pins for that? So we're going to jump our signal to 5 volts for APP. We'll do it for APP. Let's do APP1 first, since that one's at zero. Um, let me see which one that is. I brought the factory diagram up too. How did I lose the factory diagram? Okay, that's weird. Oh, I drug it out of there. Just go look at it, I got it. There you go. Okay, you got it? Uh, 
high tech. So we're at five volts. Yeah, let's go to the other one. So yeah, if you get our other signal and that one goes to five volts instead of three. It didn't like that. Are you in the right one, Justin? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was. Maybe you should unplug it first. Just unplug it first, because it might it might be shorting out. Disconnect it when we jump it, and it should. I think you're on the wrong wire, Justin. It's not showing. It's still stuck at zero, Justin. Don't leave it on. Because it did not like that. White and brown? Um, let's go back to my factory diagram. Uh, no, signal one is. Brown and light green. Oh, white and brown was two, yeah. yeah. So it should be two and five, right? Yeah. Okay, go back to what was the first one you did? Two. Okay. Let's go back to that one. There's nothing. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so that's APP1. And then when you do the other one. don't get anything. So we need to go to the ECM see if we can do it right at the ECM. Yeah. For some reason, our tech came off. Oh god. Yeah, we'll have to check our ground at that connector out front too. So he's adding. I'm actually just shorting the pins because I, my I have a five volt connector here. It's not working. Oh, okay. So I'm I'm just shorting five volts from in the connector to the APP. And if you watch. So that should be APP two. Yep, it says five volts. Okay, I'll take that one up and I'll short APP one. Yep. So everything has to be inside the truck then, right? It has to be between here and the truck. This is harness. Okay. This is ECM side. So. Um, zero. One zero. It didn't go up. No. You got us in a limit mode. Remember? We might not see anything when it does this. So there you go, five volts. So he's just jumping the pins at the connector. Five volt uh, pin on the end to... So we think the, what, the wiring diagram's wrong? I think, I think the wiring diagram, I don't know if the wiring diagram's wrong or they pinned it wrong, it, it don't match up. But if you look here, so if you go, all right, so we're here. Yeah, you're at five volts. So it's not supposed to be next to each other. If we go to this one, which I noticed is right next to it, uh, are we on five volts over yeah, there? Yeah, now we're on five volts on the okay, other one. Okay, so if you look with with the power probe, what I've always noticed with the power probe when you're checking when you're checking with the power probe, uh, grounds generally give you this little green light. It'll show that you got a good ground. So we got two grounds right next to each other. We have see that it don't light up green, which generally indicates some sort of signal wire. Um, and we have two signal wires next to us. According to the wire diagram, that was not right. We actually took these and we made sure all these wires matched up to where they said they were supposed to go. But that was not, did not appear to be correct. This is what our diagram shows. Um, our signal, our signals are supposed to be pin two and five. Signals should be pin two and five. So I have signal on pins two and three. So what we're gonna do here 
is we're gonna take pin three and we're gonna move it to pin five. Okay, that's what. That's your, where your grounds are supposed to be three and four. Yep. So we're gonna take this. We're gonna take this solid purple wire, which is pin three. This one right here. We're gonna move that pin to pin five, and uh, might correct our problem. Should I get a deep pinning tool, or are you? Because we, we had that cover off, remember? Yeah, I already had took the cover back off. I'm, uh, I'll grab a tool. Got it flipped around. Right here it is. Uh, you might have to clear codes, but... Yeah. Oh, we're good! Are we? Yeah! Hold on. Alright. Yeah. I see it moving. Oh, that's it. There you go. But we're not rubbing. Yeah, you're gonna have to clear the codes, I think. Let's go back. Let's go to codes. We still got performance codes. Are the wires mixed up depending on which one they're supposed to be? Oh, that's a good question. Because we got a performance code. Stop performance. Okay. So Minimum and maximum stop performance. Let's swap. We'll swap. Uh okay, so we came under here miscellaneous functions. Did the learn ETC. In YTEC. In YTEC. This would be in another scan yeah. tool. Probably under PCM functions. But our codes went away. After we after we did the relearn, but we actually and now it worked. So the pins were wrong. The pins were wrong and they needed a throttle relearn. Yeah. So there we go. Do they want us to go after the line pressure code or are they gonna nope. say okay. I'm not when they bring it up to me we'll do that. Okay. Until then we're not gonna Okay. Well that is it for this. Now we can get out of the heat. Right. See you guys later.